What's going on, everyone? It's Anthony Aiken Jr. This is part two of reacting to all of Olivia's original songs. In part one, there's many standout songs. Pay Grade, Apocalyptic Crush, Naive Girl, and Gross. Honestly, I can't believe you're mine. That note right there. Y'all were in the comment section like, Hey, yo, Aunt, where's Pretender? Where's victim? And I said, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I have part two coming soon. And today is the day we will finish the rest of the songs. If you're new, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Oh, I love you, I love you, I love, I love, I love Olivia. Okay, cue the Olivia intro. I live for you, I long for you, Olivia. That line reminds me a whole lot of Gross, where she says, kissing in a taxi cab. I thought you had your damn driver's license by now, so we still in taxis. But anyway, I wrote a note and I left it folded in your pocket. You taped it on your wall in your New York City apartment. That's just so damn descriptive. Or something like that, you're crazy. But it's not in a bad way, dancing on the highway. You make me feel older than 17. Yeah, this is L-O-V-E. Or something really close, hey baby. I think you're really dope, I honestly don't know why. I should ever leave your side. Cause this is love, right? Okay, positive, I'm in love, Olivia. She has a great grasp on imagery. So whenever she writes these songs, it's not necessarily a story with a plot. However, she sets up the scene so well. You can smell the morning coffee. You can feel the ambiance of the hotel hugging you at every step of the way. And she always mentions being 17. I'm only 17. I don't know anything, but my name's Olivia. Next song is Crazy with an exclamation point. I live for you, I long for you, Olivia. No one's ever made me feel so happy, remorseful, or so insecure. Oh, God, you're everything I hate and everything I adore. You said you like this one song writer. Now I'm trying to write this song like her. And no one's gonna love you like I do. Not that much I know. I hear your morning cup of coffee, but like I didn't go home. Oh, you're my medicine, my vice. You keep me up at night to tell me, baby, am I crazy and a love it just crazy? <laughs> ba -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. Okay, that ending right there, da 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 da. That sounds like winter into spring. Ba -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. That sounds like the first warm day. Ba -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. That sounds like the last day of school going into summer break. Ba -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. Sound like a damn caterpillar emerging out of this chrysalis and becoming a damn butterfly. Ba -da -de -da -de -da -de -da. And then she goes on to say, you said you like this one songwriter. Now I'm trying to write a song like her. I could literally picture Olivia in her crib, looking outside the window while it's raining, listening to the song from the artist that this boy is crushing on that ain't her. She just looking and singing and like, okay, I'm gonna make a song 10 times better. Ooh. What's Olivia's Zodiac sign? Okay, she's a Pisces. It makes sense. It makes sense. Next song is Victim. Yeah. You're a victim. Mm. Okay, so far this song is giving me dark academia vibes. I feel the dark cloud of ambiance in terms of, you know, the lakes where all the poets went to die. I don't belong in this song. Settle the score. 
Okay, she says guilty Catholic car. That's. Okay, if I'm understanding the song, let me be the victim of your perfect crime. She mentioned guilty Catholic heart. So that religious background will definitely hold you to a certain standard. And you have morals. You have some sense of a moral compass where you know right from wrong, good from bad. But she can't seem to fathom the fact that she did something bad. What? Are y'all seeing these lyrics? She said, Knife in deep, make the victim bleed. Tell me, do you bleed? I'll hear the yells and see the red and blue. Red and blue referring to some sort of emergency happening. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Whoop, whoop. You know, officers on standby, medical staff on standby. This is turning into her own crime story that she's writing just to kind of protect her own conscience. She's pulling the, the Uno reverse card, reverse psychology. Damn, damn, damn. You'll finally see how it tastes because hurting the one you swore you'd protect is the worst kind of heartbreak. And that one liner has to be one of the best one liners I've heard so far in this compilation. It's almost hurting me to the core that I can't hear the studio quality version because Olivia is recording off of a phone that probably needed an iOS update. It's fading in and out. Her Wi-Fi, something. Victim is my early favorite. It's really hard to be original in this day and age. There's so much that's been done already. When you can make songs where the listener could sit here and say, yo, I have not heard someone write a song like this. Kudos to you. And Olivia, you did that right there. So put it in the comment section. How do you feel about Victim? Next up, we have Pretender. I live for you, I long for you, Olivia. Okay, so, so far, this sounds very New York City Broadway, and it has a lot of jazz elements, especially in the beginning of the melody where she sings, Is your life a lie? It has like this New York Rockettes kick line type of atmosphere, and uh, it's increasing my serotonin greatly. Oh, but maybe your life is all flowers. Maybe I'm insecure.
Okay, so she switched the pacing in terms of the piano. Like all of a sudden it started to pick up and then she slowed it down again to emphasize that you are a pretender. So somebody's living in a facade here and it doesn't seem to tickle Olivia's fancy, okay? Wow, that was nice. I'm happy in me, ain't that supposed to be enough? But the way she said ain't that, and she emphasized that. Listen clearly. Ain't that supposed to be enough? So why am I soaking, calling your bluff? Maybe your love is all flowers. Maybe I'm insecure. That transition is so sudden and it's interesting because it does have this like happy tone at first but then all of a sudden it's like okay wait let me talk to y'all maybe your life is all flowers maybe i'm insecure you know snapchat filters how do we feel about them but also it's important to note that i'm insecure, you're insecure. You're insecure. Oh. so although i'm calling you on your bluff I'm doing so due to the fact that I'm insecure of your perfection. Pretender, I'm pointing my finger at you. Pretender, if only they knew what I knew. Yeah, if only they knew what I knew. Uh, mm. Pretender. I guess you're really not so bad Maybe you pretend But you look like you got the life I wish I had I created you To be plastic and deadly Okay, now that changes the whole damn song Because this whole time I'm thinking she's talking about somebody else That she's envious of Which Olivia does quite a lot in her music but now it says, maybe you pretend, but you look like you got the life I wish I had. So it's almost like y'all ever heard the song Girl Crush? I got a girl crush. It's from a place of not, oh, I'm in love with her. I'm in love with who she is because I want to be that. But then she says, I created you to be plastic and deadly. So if Olivia created it, then she's talking about herself. I don't know. What do you think in the comment section? What do you think Pretender is about? You think Pretender is about another person? Or is Olivia simply self-reflecting here? I created you to hide my own envy. To hide my own envy. Yeah. Pretender. That's the interesting part because technically she's no different than the person pretending or putting up a facade if she's such in like an allure about it, you know? That similar to Victim was one of the better written songs where it just stopped me in my tracks and I was like, wow. Next song is 21st Century Girls. I live for you, I long for you, Olivia. She just said long blonde hair. Long blonde hair. Whenever Olivia mentions long blonde hair, get out. Get out! Yo! Shut the computer down and just take a second. I need a moment. Because I don't know what I'm about to get myself into. Last time she mentioned some damn blonde hair, we was all about to cry. Huh? I don't even cry like that. I haven't cried since the early 2000s. You know what I'm saying? Back when my kindergarten teacher said, Anthony, pull up your pants. 
What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Okay, so first and foremost, her vocals sound incredible. And when she goes to the 21st century girls are perfect. Notice how the piano stops. 21st century girls are perfect. And she emphasizes perfect, almost as if to say, you know how people be like, oh, wow, look at her. She's so perfect. It's not really perfect. Digital love, it still feels real to me. She looks like an angel, it's what they'll believe. 21st century girls are flawless. And I say I didn't care, but if I am honest, it's hard not to feel like I'm never enough. Yeah, I want that 21st century Okay, one thing that strikes me, I'm trying to picture what her album would sound like. And I already know, based on the fact that she's so creative with her lyrics and concepts, she's going to write some incredible albums one day. I know that for a fact. And also her influences. Um, 21st Century Girls was cool. Next one is I'm Yours. I live for you. This is, oh, hold on, let me, I'm sorry, my fault. My fault to cut you off, Olivia. I'll never do that again. You know what I'm saying? You were still getting in your little falsetto bravado bag. Hold on. She reminds me on this song, SZA. Yeah, I feel what I'm saying? And mind you, I did see on Instagram that SZA... And Olivia had a back and forth, like they were showing each other love. This is just like the most like brutally honest, beautiful songwriter. Supermodel is so good. It's just like, I love songs where women talk about like being insecure because I feel like that's such a scary, scary thing to talk about, but it's something we all feel so deeply. No, you know I'm more than scared. Cause I'm not a high score, I'm not a trophy, I'm not a girl. I love that. Hold on, we're rewinding it. That is so. This is my favorite song. Easily. Easily my favorite song. It gives me an RB feel. That's very familiar. Um, I'm not sure about, you know, the fact that you weren't in no high school movies because you're in high school musical, the musical. I mean, come on. No, nah, I'm joking. But yeah, she sounds so mature. For manipulation, not here to be your validation, no. Olivia, my Instagram is Anthony96JR. Everyone follow me. Follow me. Twitter, Anthony96JR. Follow me. Please DM me that song. Like, don't 
Look, I won't share it. I promise I won't leak it to nobody else. At the very least, if you can't send me the song, can you at least tell me it's gonna be on the album? Can you be like, hey, Ant, it's gonna be on the album? Love the video. By the way, that song, I'm Yours, I think it represents, don't get to thinking because I'm in this relationship with you that you own me. Before I leave you with the remix to Apocalyptic Crush, let me remind you that part one of this video is in the description. Part three will be up ASAP. Let's get this video to 2,000 likes and that will be up before you know it. And also, as always with my videos, we end off with a hug. Okay, apocalyptic with the crush. The doctor said that I should rush. Driver's license had me driving. People really have me striving. I see the water, I'm diving, I'm living. My life is a moment, I'm trying. I'm thinking the people and stars is really the ones that be sitting and dying. I'm leaning, I'm all on the ground. Thinking the people that wasn't around. Oh, that was really good. All right, let me try one more time. Staying at the days in, uh, really, I'm just playing. Uh, everyone keep on singing and saying that I'm slaying. Uh, the sleigh ride from Santa, from the chimney, pandas. Never express themselves like the Chinese food that we eat in the Anna. You're here Anna. with apocalyptic crush. If we all died, you'd be the one. You'd get to kiss him in the ashes. So hey, what are the chances of World War Three? Cause he's never gonna like you like he likes me.